Hello, I'm Nick Sheehan. And I'm Cam Cook. We are industrial hygiene students here at Keene State College in New Hampshire. And today we would like to talk about the challenges of wearing gloves when working with common chemicals in your research lab. Common solvents used in the lab today are methanol, methylene chloride, and hexane. These chemicals present a challenge with regard to glove selection because hexane and methanol are designated as skin chemicals by ACGIH and OSHA. Methylene chloride is a carcinogen and when inhaled it acts like carbon monoxide and prevents red blood cells from absorbing oxygen. The challenge for gloves is that methylene chloride degrades gloves quickly. If working with hexane or methanol, it is important to protect yourself from skin contact. We will now demonstrate how these chemicals interact with nitrile gloves. Now we are seeing the effects that hexane has on nitrile gloves. As you can see, there are no immediate effects to the nitrile gloves. We will now see the effects of methanol on nitrile gloves. As you can see, there is a little bit of a discoloration, but there is no immediate degradation. There is still some stability after methanol has been placed on the nitrile glove. Here we are demonstrating how dichloromethane, also known as methylene chloride, it interacts with the most common glove in laboratories, nitrile gloves. As you can see, it starts to degrade the glove. As you can see, the, the glove is degraded and it is no longer protective. The tighter the glove, the easier it is for the chemicals to go through. It is important to choose the right size glove, and it's better to choose a bigger glove than a smaller glove. To avoid the problem of chemicals dripping through the glove, it is important to double glove and pay close attention as you work with methylene chloride. If you see spots or rips in the outer layer of the glove, it is time to change the gloves. The glove size that fits me best is large. I will now don the gloves. It is important to not make contact with the contamination. To do this, pinch the palm of your hand and remove the glove so it is inside out. Next, crumple the glove in your other hand and take the index finger of your free hand and poke it underneath the end of your glove. Now remove the glove inside out and dispose. Thanks for watching our short video on glove protection. If you have any comments or questions, please contact our chemical hygiene officer, Ralph Stewart. Have a great day.